Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the, the new Hot Toy 1.6 scale figure for the uh, Iron Strange. And so this is supposed to be the uh, concept art version for the Avenger Infinity War or the Endgame. But unfortunately this one never ever shown on a movie, but instead Tony Stark wear this suit in a movie. And so it's exactly the same as a Mark 50 or Mark L, uh, whatever you call that. But uh, except that it comes with a different chest plate, uh, which is more suited for the Doctor Strange, and the uh, Tony Star Hesco is not there. But instead, they come with the uh, Benedict Cumberbatch Hesco. So that's the only thing different. Um, I was torn between whether I should get this one or the uh, you know official Doctor Strange, but uh, um, I was debating about this for a bit and for about a week or so. And then finally I decided to get this one because the price is quite reasonable and I paid for around about £250 from the toy buying agent and they were very quick with shipping. I mean I bought it today and then within a week I get this one <laughs> which is impressive you know. And I paid for about 660 Hong Kong dollar which is a bit expensive I would say but then again the considering the box that comes with it is quite massive. It's about 3 kilo or so heavy. So yeah, I think it's reasonable and I get it very very fast which is impressive timing. Uh, so I do recommend a toy buying agent as far as I'm concerned and uh, from my experience they're very good. I mean as I mentioned in my previous videos before. Uh, I think this must be the, the fifth figures or something like that that I got it from them. So anyway, um, I was torn between with this one and No Way Home or the Multiverse of Madness. Um, but I don't really like the No Way Home much, uh, mainly because it has no split cap boot design. Which I really hate it because I always wanted to keep it on the ground, completely flat. I don't use dynamic stand. Um, so that's the only reason really. But the uh, Planet Action figure is selling for about £220 with discount. Um, so £250 from Toy Buying Agent against the um, 220 from the uh, Planet Action Figures. So I decided that, you know what, I'm a die-cast collector, I love Iron Man, and I know that this is kind of strange. It, well, it is strange. Um, I don't have Doctor Strange figure before. So you know what, I'm gonna go with the uh, 250 from Toy Buying Agent, which is reasonable, and I get a decent amount of accessory. And uh, I'll wait until the um, you know multiverse of madness is on sales, and then I'll probably get that one later on. And um, because that is the only figures with the, the split cap boot design for the Doctor Strange figure, and um, so I will wait on uh, for a little bit and see you know whether they go a little bit on sales. And when they do, I will get that. But at the moment, I'm happy with this guy because this one comes with tons of accessory. As you can see here, the box is massive in the background. And he comes with all this uh, drone and lighter effects as well. And he has this uh, blaster, which I don't have. And I got Mark 50 Neon Tech, and that one comes with lobster style kind of blaster with the uh, energy soul. But this one is a different energy soul. From it's more like a Doctor Strange style, like mystical kind of like, you know um, energy soul. So and I thought that this is perfect, and you know kind of like an accessory that I don't have. And combined with the Mark 50 from the Neon Tech line, I think I now have a perfect combination of all the drone and all the accessories and everything in my hand. So that is perfect. And Tree Zero do also do exact same one, but in the Iron Man design, but that it comes with a different kind of accessory pack. And you can get all these things exactly like the Tree Zero. You know, the only thing I'm missing is the katana, which I don't have. And a couple other like uh, you know like a uh, jackhammer or something like that, those kind of things, which I don't really like like to use those one anyway, so I don't mind about it. That's the only thing I'm missing in terms of accessory wise, but I got everything else here, which is perfect. So uh, let's talk about accessory. I mean, he comes with quite a lot of accessory. I mean, he got uh, typical uh, Iron Man kind of like hands. You got blaster repulsor effects, and you also have articulated hands. And the difference is this one is completely straight and this one is like tilted. So that's the only thing difference, right? So this is a count for all the Iron Man figures, which is exactly the same. And also you got a pair of fists as usual. So this one is same for everything else. But that this one comes with additional Doctor Strange specific hand design, which is really cool. And also you got this kind of mystical effects that comes with it. 
you can attach to it. I mean, I just pack it all together like this, and this is perfect. And so this is really really cool. I like this one. Uh, I think when you light up the LED light up effects, and it will kind of shine in the back from the uh, repulsor hand, and and then it will glitter up on the uh, this energy part as well which will be even cooler so i torn between whether i should pose it like this with both hands or should i keep it with one sword one blaster like that so maybe i just keep it you know either way and then i change it from time to time probably when i get bored i suppose so that is the uh, additional accessory and he also come with this giant weird <laughs> what is it this is like uh, some kind of like I don't know, like for the hamster to roll around, run around. <laughs> but I can imagine a little hamster will roll around in here like this. <laughs> I don't know where it is. But then you have a little bit of hands that, that you can actually attach, I suppose. And then that will probably go like this, I can imagine. Um, not really cool accessory, you know, I will use. Um, yeah, I don't think I will use that one. This is kind of weird. I call it hamster wheel. <laughs> okay and then um, he also have this a uh, hand that you can actually take this off and basically and uh, just plug it in there is no battery compartment in this uh, blaster all you have to do is swap it in and then swap it back with this and it will lit up the led light right so you got a couple of led light down here and also up there as well so that's the only thing difference and he also have all the mystical energy stuff that comes with it as well so you got this kind of like square thingy I'm um, not sure what I can do with it. Maybe I can put it in a hand. I don't know. Uh, maybe like that or I have no clue. Right? It could be sort of like a book or something. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure what I can do with this. I'm just going to leave that. But it's really nicely sculpted and all kind of like details on it as well. And uh, he also come with two uh, mystical, you know, rings as well. So and as you can see here, I put it on his hand. But... This is not a good idea, then the reason why I say that is when you put this in the hand, right, it's gonna be scrapping all kind of like paint jobs. So I can imagine that if you put it there like this, you got a big one go first, small one goes there. And they don't stay there together, they can't keep on coming out and they kind of loosey goosey going on. You can see that here, it's going all over the place, like right? forward, backward, forward, backward, all over the place. And that is a terrible idea. And also it will scrap all the paint as well if you keep on, you know, playing with it too much. So I don't recommend using these. And but they kind of looks cool though uh, to have it. And also it kind of that doesn't fit, uh, sit still probably with the hand. Uh, it would be nicer to have the exact mold or something like that can actually fit into the slot with the hand and that can of sit in a position rather than going all over the place, which is a terrible idea, right? So that is something that I don't like. Uh, apart from that, and it comes with uh, all the drone here, and also you got this the uh, proper, um, you know, like a, a portal, I would say. Like, let's take a pause on this one. And then this portal is kind of a bit small, if I have to be honest. If I should put it a bit down here, and you can see that it's kind of like very small and i don't know how dr strange is going to fit into it i mean does he have to go around like a ct scan or something like that he have to go through like this <laughs> it's like what the hell i mean i wish that they made this one a little bit bigger go all the way around about here but then i think it would be a bit expensive for them to make this maybe and considering the box that he comes with it i mean instead of coming with a cardboard black you know backpack and which i have which i'm not going to take it out by the way it kind of looks ugly anyway and it's very like low resolution quality and stuff so it's no point of using that and instead of that stupid cardboard and I wish they made this like a proper uh, you know this uh, mystical energy portal ring to make it a bit bigger and that would be awesome but unfortunately it's so small and it just doesn't seem to fit here you know just like <laughs> it's like what the hell what are they thinking here uh, unless you put this one at the very far back like this if I have the Doctor Strange close up to the front and then this one at the back then you can imagine that it's kind of like you know distance and then make this one a bit smaller that makes sense but then again when you put the Doctor Strange about here and the portal is there and it just don't make sense at all I mean, it makes sense for a little rocket to come down you know from the portal but this is too big for the 1-6 skill figure 
um, yeah so it just doesn't match you know that's the problem that I have now let's talk about the figure itself right so the figure has a paint job and all the weatherings and everything and uh, start from the bottom here then the car goes very nicely done and uh, articulation as usual you can do all kind of like you know uh, ratchet joints here and the same as all the iron man really they're nice and solid never have any problem with that and uh, so this one is all die cast all the way down here they're all cold to touch and very very nice and very solid heavy weight on the hand and then on the top is all plastic-ish going on and then you got a nice chest plate here which is very very cool and I also have this nice energy sole as you can see here this is the only hand that you have this sole on this side you don't have it on the other side which is a shame and then I have this ring there just kind of floating around at the moment it just doesn't do anything and then you got spring-loaded chest part here and then you might be wondering why do I leave this uh, section here because I want to show you how annoying it is to install the LED light on the battery and it's I showed it in the before in the uh, you know uh, my Neon Tech version and the problem is that you got a battery compartment here right so you have this plastic piece to uh, take this off okay and this thing has to come off and then there is no switch here which is even annoying because you have to flip this whole thing right and then you have to find a battery compartment in here and the light switches in here so why don't they do it in the same location you know why why separate i don't understand you have to flip two parts to just to turn on the light here and that is very annoying uh, you do have this led light on the shoulder all right on the bicep and also on the here as well if i switch up the light here and you can see a bit better right so that is very nice so you do have a LED light there and also there and also on the bicep but just to get to that section is so annoying and at the back you do have the uh, this panel to bring it down and then you have to turn on these things to get all the lights lit up so uh, that part is not a problem it is very nice and easy to do and you can see here that quietly um, you know um, green gemstone from infinity gem time stone is here which is really cool and um, so you got quite a lot of LED light here as well which is nice and that's about it really and it doesn't have the Iron Man head scope or anything which is a shame but uh, I can live without it I suppose all right so that is the older light here okay so let me switch off the light and turn it back on and um, so it is very annoying to turn on just for this which is such a pain and also you have to keep on rotating around and then you're gonna scrap all the paint here and this is a spring loaded thing which is terrible idea you know um, so I wouldn't really bother putting this uh, battery here I mean, after I've done this video I'm just gonna take out the battery and I'm just gonna leave it I'm not even gonna bother attaching it to be honest I'll probably turn on the body and all the chest plate and stuff like that that's about it and that's what only thing that I will do and also chest plate can come off uh, I'm pretty sure that the same as every Iron Man figures um, but this one seems to be a little bit stuck and uh, I don't want to break this off uh, hold on okay so I can't seem to take out this uh, chest plate here I mean you can take this off but uh, it's kind of stuck on one side and I don't want to force it so I probably gave up now here I'm sorry about this so yeah, uh, you can take this off and then you can see the inside component and all the scoping and stuff like that but I wouldn't bother taking it off now because uh, it's kind of stuck on one end. Yeah, so that's pretty much it really. So in terms of the articulation wise, I mean, as you can expect, it's all bicep can swivel. I mean, everything can go around and everything is decent. I mean, the head scope can go around. Speaking of head scope, and this is what the head scope looks like. And so it looks like really, really, you know, uh, similar to the uh, Infinity War. Um, there are different kind of head sculpts from the uh, Doctor Strange. You got No Way Home, then also Multiverse of Madness. Uh, I do like this kind of hair that coming down here, and you got all the white uh, on the other side, and then you got some kind of battle damage as well on the uh, other side as well, which is nice. And so it is similar to Infinity War, I would say. 
Okay, so that is it for that. And then in terms of the body, you can actually swivel, you can actually pull this up, and then you can crouch down and stuff like that. But when you do that, you got quite a lot of holes and gaps here, which is a terrible idea. So I probably wouldn't want to do it that way. And down here, the gaps are usually okay at the top, but down here you got massive holes here. But unfortunately, that's not the way it is. And you can also have some LED light on the leg as well. I think there's only one here. So I wouldn't bother putting a battery in here as well. I'm just gonna leave it. And so you can actually swivel the thigh, you can go up and down. And also you have the uh, you know split cup boots and kind of toe articulations and stuff like that. So which is all the same as everything else really. And at the back is also here a little bit of flat here. And there is no jet pad that comes with it, unfortunately, but I'm happy with that as it is. Right, so let me show you the um, uh, what do you call it, the drone here. So I gonna show you this now I'm probably gonna put this one aside and the drone is really cool it comes with quite a lot of LED lighter point here okay and so this is basically looks like this so you just have to take it out they're all ball joint and you can all articulate it around here all right so let me show you a little bit up here and then you got this battery compartment and you just have turn on and you can see how much LED light is in here which is crazy and so that is one here and then if i show you another one and then it's also the same so you got quite a lot of led light here and um, it's kind of very very nice when you actually put all the lights together like this okay so you can see that how much different from one side and the other side with that light and uh, with light so that is very cool effects really Alright, so I think that's pretty much it really. Uh, I hope that this video is helpful and uh, if you're thinking of getting Doctor Strange, it's definitely worth getting this guy. I mean, if you already have the Iron Man Mark 50, I mean, probably you don't need to get this one because they're exactly the same one. But if you don't have Doctor Strange or the Iron Man Mark 50, I think this is really good combination of both. So anyway right i hope that this video is helpful and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and see you later